What's the frick it? No one will ever notice of your profession. Theater props. Frick it. It looks fine from 6 feet away. Alternatively. Frick it. It's on stage for like 30 seconds anyway. If anyone's paying attention to that, the actors aren't doing their jobs. I drive truck for a living and at least once a week I see some sort of street sign knocked over because a truck took a turn too sharp and knocked it over. And before anyone asks, I only did that once. How many people call you Tucker the Trucker? Radio. One of my colleagues, when doing the traffic report, would ignore places she couldn't pronounce or didn't know the translation for. So there could be a huge pile up, and she wouldn't mention it. Still a popular strategy here in Hawaii, but slightly more often with the names of people. Awkward when the television news anchor snorts halfway through the name of a road accident victim. Retail. Standing in the back and pretending to look for something. Normally this only happens if the customer is a dong. At McDonald's, my go-to if I needed to look busy was just grab a towel. Find something made of stainless steel and wipe it down. Can just be the same item over and over. Doesn't matter. All that matters is when the manager walks by. They always see you doing something. I work at a bridge for the state as a bridge operator. I work the night shift and I'm here by myself literally the entire night. My night consists of opening the bridge closing it for marine traffic. But sometimes I go hours without a boat. So in that time, I either watch TV, play Xbox, or sleep. They don't care about the TV or playing Xbox. As long as we're still doing our job. Sleep is the thing I think all of us do here at my job that we say they won't notice. And my bosses know that we do. I mean, we're here for hours on end, alone, with a good bit of free time. They know we take naps, but they don't wanna catch us taking naps. Like last night, I didn't have a boat from 1am all the way till when I left at 6.45. You know what I did in that time? I slept. Theater. Just about everything. Deadlines are not flexible in any sense of the word. The show must go on. Costumes might be unfinished or full of safety pins. Actors may frick up lines. But if they keep going no one in the audience can tell. Sets from the back look like safety hazards. If you get too close to anything painted, it'll start to look like a bad Monet. Lighting doesn't get much leeway, but it's not like photons can get sloppy. Audience will notice if it's dark where it shouldn't be. Makeup looks clownish up close to defined features. Backstage can be chaos on big shows, but you'd never know it from out in the house. When it gets down to the wire, there's a lot of good enoughing going around. The rule tends to be that things only have to look good from a minimum of 30 feet away. Legal transcriptionist, the lawyers are all talking over each other, so I'll just throw in an inaudible tag cause it's not like the defendant who wanted this for their records is ever actually gonna read it. I did some college basketball PA, announcing, when it was a packed house and a guy on our team hit a big 3 pointer or did a spectacular dunk the crowd would go off, yelling his name over the PA just added to the frenzy, so I took a chance and started yelling the player's nickname over the PA at those huge moments, I chatted with the coach, then several fans and realized they never heard it, just that something was being said. So, I realized you could yell anything over the PA after an impact play and it worked the same helping keep the crowd whipped into a frenzy. Some of the things I yelled, zippity doo da, happy holidays, boom goes the dingbat, my wife is sexy AF, super duper mini cooper, I'm eating pizza later, and so on. Thanks for telling us so these actions don't go to waste. Work at a gas station, we're supposed to pay for hot food, rollers, pizza, ETC, but no one ever does. Been there a year and have never been called out on it yet. When I worked the 311 shift at the gas station we would clean and close out the roller grill at 9, and whatever food was left we would write it off and throw it away. So if I was hungry I would wait until 9 and eat the hot dog or whatever that was left. Or if someone came in between like 8.45 9 and they weren't a dong I'd just give it to them for free and write it off. 3D modeling. Whatever you do starts as something else. Never start with a basic mesh. Start with some other finished project and cannibalize. 3D modeling student here. Now I know how I'll get through college. Casino. When I realized two hands later that I paid a guy five bucks over on a blackjack. It's not worth it to roll back cameras. 
In answer to your next question, if it's just happened, yes I will pay someone who I have underpaid. I work for tips, which many people seem to forget, so I want people to win. Obviously if it's a grievous error I have to inform someone and fix it, because I'd like to keep my job. But I can't work 8 hours doing math over and over and never make a small mistake. Well now I feel terrible. I had no idea people in casinos worked for tips, minus the bartenders. I used to work for a company that made aircraft parts. One foreman had a saying for really minor errors. Don't worry about it, no one will see it from 30,000 feet. We say don't inspect to reject, inspect to accept. Tiny tweaks to a person's facial structure when I do portraits. Not enough to alter their appearance, just enough to make it more proportionate. People tend to love it and I never tell them I do it. I do something similar when I'm editing a photo of someone who is being honored for something or memorialized. I'll fix things like stray hairs, dark circles, soften crow's feet and laugh lines, and remove lint from clothing. Buddy went to a rich school that commissioned a stadium. Engineer making the blueprints. Frick it, we don't need all those pillars. Construction crew reading the reduced blueprints. Frick it, we don't need all those pillars. Guy surveying the final product, yeah, that's going to fall. School. Frick it, no one's going to notice. In case you were wondering, someone noticed. Software engineer. Frick it, nobody's gonna notice if I don't give this ridiculously long pull request a proper code review. If I had a nickel for every time a variable like V error gets set to zero, and then nothing ever touches it for the rest of the code until the end, and then there's a check if V error equals zero, then throw an error. Sweet error handling. Modern I'd tell you when this happens. In this case it would say condition is always false. Doing the lighting for galas and dinners in a ballroom, theatrical fuck it is a real thing. Edge of the room dim, mood lighting. Up lights uneven, make sure they're all uneven and call it symmetrical asymmetry. Upstage rag torn, black gaff. In the military almost everything is a case of frick it, no will notice scenario. I've seen it on all levels from privates up to high ranking officers. Only people who do not do this are master sergeants and senior enlisted BC they know everything will go to crap if they stop giving fricks. Also as blame gets passed down the enlisted you get a bunch of privates to take the blame and can't get any lower than a private. If blame gets passed around officers either it works its way up and disapers in red tape or it gets passed down to enlisted. But that blame I isn't going to go from enlisted to officers so it gets stuck at that point and he eats crap. Retail. We never are allowed our 15 minute paid breaks we are supposed to get every 2 hours. So every so often I go to the back 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 room and go on my phone for 5 minutes. Scandalous. I know. I'd suggest the bathrooms. Preferably the employee single occupancy one. Those are nice and quiet. Networking. Underfloor cable management. Or lack thereof. I've seen way too many places with spaghetti cabling under the false floor or above the plenum. But that or lack of labeling on things that need labels. When the engineer installed the equipment, nobody notices, until another engineer comes by at a later point attempting to troubleshoot and not having the information they need. I worked in medical assembly for a bit. My line manufactured the balloons for the catheters used in the legs. Inspecting parts consisted of a few main steps including checking wall thickness, under a microscope for holes tears, and making sure the holes on each end aren't too big or too small. I was surprised at how many people would pass questionable parts when they were technically out of spec because it would mean adjusting the machines with some trial and error, meaning your end of day numbers would be lower. I'm normally the kind of girl who is okay with some shortcuts. My previous job being custodial work so who cares if you left a fingerprint on a window, but I took this job really seriously. I mean, if the balloon were to burst while inside someone's body that would be really bad. I actually got fired because I had noticed the shift before me had passed some obviously horrible parts based on their computer documentation and I had gone through their completed parts to personally double check. So even though I was looking out for the customers I was fired for messing with completed product. In hindsight I should have just reported it to my boss right away. You should talk to a law office that's used companies for this type of behavior and become an expert witness. But seriously, you could make some serious cash. Medicine. 
A lot of nurses think that no one will notice if they skim off a patient's pain meds. After a while, they get sloppy and get caught. Happens more often than you think. Software development security. Until you have a massive cyber attack with millions of accounts compromised in your hands. CPU designers taking note. Teaching. Everyone gets a 5 stroke 5 for this assignment I don't feel like reading, grading, or handing back. Executive assistant. I have spent many, many hours writing pornography in offices where there isn't enough to do. If you see my computer from a distance, which is the closest I am allowing anyone to get to my monitor, all you see is me working in a Word document and ostensibly typing quite furiously, depending on how well the story is going. No one has ever noticed. Are you the school counselor from 10 things I hate about you? Using products in retail stores. I don't mean consumables, like food or paper towels. I mean durable goods. You have a problem with that door in the back? Need a screwdriver? Get one from hardware. Use carefully. Pull it back. Was it in packaging? Well, from the 20k returns, you've learned how to put stuff back exactly as it came out. Especially when you have a reference. It happens most with tools, but can happen with a lot more things. Toys get demoed, radios and speakers get listened to, among others. Most of the time it'll never impact the product in a way that would make it less than new to the customer. My manager would always say we were pre-testing products for customers. Nuclear submarine officer. If it's not in the logs it didn't happen. Works to your advantage and disadvantage. In reality we are constantly audited and someone will notice if I miss something. I live in terrifying fear of messing up an initial condition that only matters in the worst case scenario with the worst case plant conditions. On top of that you are in a steel tube hundreds of feet below the surface. Sounds like junior officer jitters. We all had them. Look at those dolphins on your chest. Now go to your job with confidence. Video publishing. Is anyone going to notice that one title is a couple of mm out of alignment? Probably not. But I will. And it will haunt me forever and forever and forever. Network engineer. Midday production change with no testing. If it works, no one will notice. If it doesn't, you are fricked. Cable salesman. I don't even ask customers if they want the battery backup. It's $40 on top of the first month's bill and doesn't even work for most of the phones that are on the market. In automotive exhaust work, it is welding. You asked for it to be clamped. They are still going to tack some welds on there, even if just a few on top of the joints. If you don't care if it's welded, they are going to splatter that crap on there like a bird crapping on a hot rock. That hanger could be bolted in, and there may even be a hole for it. But frick it, the welder is fast and handy. So zap. It's done. Problem comes when your regular mechanic expects to take half of the exhaust down to work on something, or you want to yourself. Teaching. I get powerpoints and activities from the internet all the time. I keep the credits to avoid any copyright issues, but my students rarely notice or care. It makes my life so much easier. When I was in school almost all of our assignments were poor photocopies of worksheets that said do not photocopy on the bottom. I'm a sex worker. W. I wear thigh high socks that go all the way up. They usually want me to keep them on which works for my because then they don't have to know I don't shave my legs. And you get to stay warm. Win win. I frequently wear them in my own work for the warmth. I'm an architect. It feels like 90% of my peers have this attitude about contracts with clients. Who needs a contract that spells out all the terms and conditions? And who owns the IP and how we can rightfully terminate the contract? And what happens for non-payment? And limits our liability to reasonable limits. We have an email that says they want us to do some work for them. That should be enough right? In arboriculture when you're 60 feet up in an oak tree sometimes that little 1 inch cut just doesn't seem that important. The homeowner isn't going to climb up the tree and inspect it. Still a student, but based on a project I did last semester, computer science programming, yes, it wore, oh, wait, it breaks when the user does x, okay, uh, I can rewrite this code for that one situation and try to get all the bugs worked out of the new version, or I can prevent the user from doing x, well, there's not really many situations where the user would do x anyway. 
I once did a bathroom renovation in central London. We were on the top floor with no lift. 5 floors. Rather than take the old cast iron bathtub down the stairs and get more complaints about the carpet from other tenants I made the decision to secretly stash it in the roof space. I'm not proud. In the aerospace industry, if you have a hole that is slightly oversized, people will take a ball bearing that is larger than the hole, put it on top and hit it with a hammer mushrooming the edges so that the correct size gauge pin fits. Not my favorite thing but it happens from time to time. Calling it now, I'm going to see a screenshot of this comment in an NTSB report someday. Resident assistant, they're partying, but I didn't hear anything that specifically said there was alcohol. Frick it, they can keep having fun. I work in medicinal chemistry, a subset of pharmaceutical research. There is really nothing I can think of that I could screw up, that no one would notice. Someone would audit my notebook someday and it would get found out. And given the importance of what I do, I'm okay with that. If you haven't done a restore from your backups, you don't actually have backups. Lots of professionals in my field forget this. Dueling pianist here, changing keys of a song or cutting an instrumental section or changing a few words in the verse. The people are always way too drunk to notice. We don't need to run a new phone line. There's an unused one over there. If it won't reach just put a jack on the cable in the ceiling and make a patch cable to the new location. Data you can't. Well, really shouldn't. But voice will pretty much run over wet twine. Designer. There's a gray area for print resolution between high enough res. Usually 300 dpi or higher. And holy frick Nuru that I work in a lot. It's a balance of just how low res and whether or not I think anyone will look close enough poster. Probably not. 180 is usually passable. Book cover frick no. 300 minimum. Musician. Sometimes when I have a background part in the orchestra me and the person next to me switch off playing so we can both get a break. We have different parts and therefore different notes in the chord. But nobody hears the part anyways. Uh Kennel technician. Dogs displaying aggressive or super fearful behaviors will often be passed over for walks. My favorite instance of this was the aggressive as all heck Akita puppy. I think he ended up being manager walk only and there were like 4 discarded leads in his run because of all the failed attempts. I think he eventually bit someone and his family ended up being denied further service. That was a fun week. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.